What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here, and in this video I want to talk to you about the new best hand cannon in the game. The hand cannon in question is Midnight Coup, and in today's video I am going to narrow down what the absolute god rolls are with math and testing. This was a weapon whose return I was most looking forward to. It was dominant in year 1 of Destiny 2 and I never got to play with it on mouse and keyboard in its prime. And ever since hand cannons got their PvE damage buff like 6 months ago, I haven't been able to stop using them. I farmed a ton of rolls yesterday and tested a whole bunch of them and now I feel confident in being able to tell you what the best rolls are. So before we jump into the god rolls, I want to identify the perks that you don't want. Because this weapon has a ton of great perk combinations, so it's easier to just do some process of elimination off the top. So back in year 1, the old perk combo was Outlaw and Rampage, and I can tell you that this is pretty weak in today's PvE environment, so don't go for either of these rolls. Then let's just get this out of the way right now, moving target, zen moment, and opening shot are PvP traits, so if you want a PvP roll, hunt for those. I'm not sold on attrition orbs, though I did get a roll with attrition orbs and kinetic tremors. I'm not 100% sure if the kinetic tremor procs count toward attrition orbs, but I do make an orb every 7 shots or so, which is not too bad depending on your build, so we'll chalk this up as a utility roll. And same with shoot to loot kinetic tremors. I have this on a battle scar and a hung jury and I have used both in grandmasters, it's a great utility roll. But as far as a straight slaying roll, we can do much better. I love enlightened action on my warden's law because it buffs reload speed and handling and that gun desperately needs it, so initially I thought I would want this, but to be completely honest, the stats on this hand cannon are really good, so I don't think we need the extra handling and reload. By all means though, if you get this perk, it is nice to have, but I don't think it's needed. So that leaves us with the two best traits in the left column, Explosive Payload and Firefly. Explosive Payload buffs our body shot damage by 15% and our crit damage by 9%, so this is essentially just a flat out damage bonus right out of the gate. I farmed a Freightbringer for a long time trying to get Explosive Payload and Frenzy together, but it never dropped. Explosive Payload being in the left column is a big deal, very few weapons roll with this. To my knowledge, Fatebringer, Zali's Bane, and Doom of Chelchis are the only weapons in the game with this as a left column perk. And believe me, I have this on a Zali's Bane with one for all, and it hits like an exotic as a legendary weapon. It's so good. It can also have minor spec, and because of this, it hits harder than Sunshot when one for all is procced. Now keep in mind, Sunshot still has the AoE explosion damage, and it is the only 150 RPM hand cannon in the game, so its impact damage is 80 instead of 84 but I want to show you some numbers here to really illustrate how good this perk combination is. So Sunshot hits for 4979 to the head and 3267 to the body. And at base, Zali's with a minor spec on hits 4169 to the crit and 2814 to the body. So Sunshot hits for 16-19% to 19 more damage out of the gate. But keep in mind, typically exotic primaries hit 40% more to red bars. But the difference is the fire rate and the minor spec on Zali's. But when we have one for all procced, all of a sudden Zali's hits for 5629 to the head and 3799 to the body. This is 13 to 16% more damage than Sunshot depending if you hit crit or body. An explosive payload gives AoE damage. So on groups of bunched up adds, you can proc one for all in a single shot. So now you have a legendary hand cannon that is hitting basically 15% harder than an exotic primary. And Sunshot is truly one of the best primary weapons in the entire game. This is extremely valuable in endgame content, especially because I typically use a hand cannon for ad clear and then specials and heavies on enemies like champions. Keep that in mind for when we talk about the right column perks. So I felt the need to share this comparison between Zali's and Sunshot to really illustrate to you how wonderful this Midnight Coup is, because it can get the same trait combinations as Zali's with Explosive Payload and One For All, and I actually got this combo. But because it's a kinetic weapon, Kinetics hit 10% harder than energy weapons, so our base crit is 4586 and our base body damage is 3125. And our one for all crit is 6192 and body is 4179. These values are 24-28% to 28 more damage than Sunshot, just to give you some perspective of how good one for all with explosive payload is. But I'm not done yet. I do think explosive payload with one for all is certainly a god roll, but it is not the only god roll. And another amazing thing with Explosive Payload is that it mitigates damage fall off, which is important on Midnight Coup because at base this weapon only has 40 range which is about 30 meters. So Explosive Payload will help you hit max damage from further out which is very important in end game play. And this also negates our need to spec into range which is nice because next I want to talk about recoil direction. 
At base, it is 80, which doesn't sound too bad, but it does kick pretty hard to the right, which I don't love. So I would want arrowhead break on to give us 100 recoil direction. This makes it shoot pretty much perfectly vertical, which makes it feel even better than it already does. And it also gives plus 10 handling, and more handling is always nice. But I talked about how this gun, even at base, has pretty good handling and reload speed. Compared to Zali's, it has 14 more handling and 13 more reload speed at base. The weapon just feels incredible. So yeah, I would go with Arrowhead Break. Or maybe even Chambered Compensator or Extended Barrel to help out the recoil direction a bit and take it to 90. But if you're fine with the base recoil direction, you could go with Small Bore or Hammer Forge to help out that low range and give a nice bump to your stats. And then in the next column, it is pretty much dealer's choice. I always like Flared Magwell because it gives a ton of stats with 15 reload speed and 5 stability, but really just go with what you prefer. Accurized Rounds is nice for added range, and Tac Mag is nice for more bullets and a bump to reload speed and stability. So those would be my top 3. Now back to the left column trait, there is one more that's an absolute monster on this thing, and that is Firefly. And wouldn't you know it, Firefly Explosions can proc one for all as well but with the benefit of giving way better ad clear. So in endgame PvE, I do recommend explosive payload and one for all just for sheer damage, but in lower end content where you can one tap red bars, this is by far the best play. On my Fatebringer, on our day one Crota's end raid, which I guess is definitely endgame PvE, I was using explosive payload and firefly. The ad clear it gave was great. Plus with a precision kill, it gives you a plus 50 reload speed. So now your reload speed is maxed out. This perk is just awesome because it gives good AoE damage and ad clear and a boost to reload, which is why Outlaw is so useless on this thing. And not only that, your Firefly explosions stack with one for all damage. So not only will the explosion proc one for all, your next explosion will deal 35% more damage. And this season in particular, the explosions can also proc Radiant from Flint Striker because the explosion damage is solar. So this is my go-to role for day-to-day -day activities, but when I need a hand cannon that packs a little more punch, or I need to play far back in a certain GM, I will keep an explosive payload one for all role. As for the right column perks, Desperate Measures is really nice in an ability focused build. You can get 30% damage bonus just for slaying with your abilities, and then when you do pull out your hand cannon, it will hit like a truck. So this is a great perk depending on the build, and you can keep extending the timer as well where with one for all, it is a 35% damage bonus for 10 seconds, but you have to wait for the buff timer to run out before you can reproc it. But in both of these cases, it is really good for groups of adds, where if you are just plinking away on a champion or something with no adds around, you won't have any buff. And this is where Frenzy comes into play. I love Frenzy, as it's a 15% damage bonus plus handling and reload speed bonus just for playing the game. It's an amazing passive buff. And when I first saw the weapon perks, I figured I would want Explosive Payload and Frenzy. But after playing with it, I can say that you don't need the bonus to handling and reload. By all means, if you do get this perk, it is great, and the bonus to those stats is always a nice plus, but it's not mandatory like it is on other weapons that feel really sluggish and unwieldy to use without something like Frenzy. And another good perk is Kinetic Tremors, which again is great for mitigating damage fall off. So in high end content, something like Explosive Payload and Kinetic Tremors would be really good for hitting adds at a distance and getting some AoE damage from the Kinetic Tremors proc. Sadly, at least from what I saw on Twitter last night, it seems as though Explosive Payload doesn't count for 2 hits to proc Kinetic Tremors. So it will take 6 shots instead of just 3. If it was only 3, then we'd really have something here. But it's still 6, even with Explosive Payload. And normally, I love Kinetic Tremors, but for what I use a hand cannon for, it is quick 1 or 2 tapping on adds. I'm not usually laying into an enemy for 6 or more shots with my hand cannon. This is why I kept a shoot to loot Kinetic Tremors role for utility, but my go to role for most play will be Firefly and 1 for all. It hits super hard and gets a bonus to reload speed and gives you nice ad clear on a single shot weapon, where with Explosive Payload, it still tags up other targets for some damage, but not as much as Firefly. As you can see, I have a Zali's Bane with over 6,000 enemies defeated, so I obviously love Explosive Payload with one for all. And then if I want some added solar synergy, I also have one with Enhanced Incandescent with over 1,000 kills. And my Fatebringer with Explosive Payload and Firefly also has over 4,700 kills. But I will now use this strictly as my Osmosis Hand Cannon for build synergy. At Midnight Coup with Firefly and one for all will now be my go-to hand cannon for day-to-day -day activities. It just feels amazing. And that is it for the video. 
Like I said, I tested many roles and I tried out pretty much every perk this weapon has. So I'm confident that Firefly and One For All is the best all around perk combination that you can get. But this thing does have a lot of great roles and I will definitely be keeping a few in my vault. Anyways, if you found this video helpful and informative, a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching to the end if you're still here. It means a lot. Happy Godroll farming and take care.